Hello, and welcome to MDCL Channel 7 News. Tonight, we have a story about something that has impacted all of our lives in the whole world of healthcare antibiotics. There is no doubt that antibiotics have had a positive impact on many lives, and it is no surprise that the demand for antibiotics continues to rise. Between 2000 and 2010, total global antibiotic consumption increased by 36%, from about 54 billion standard units sold in 2000 to over 73 billion in 2010. Antibiotics like penicillins are extremely common now and used to treat a wide range of infections from mild conditions like acne to life-threatening ones like pneumonia. But the part of the story that we often don't hear is the broader impact that these antibiotics may have. What happens after the antibiotic residues are excreted or after the unused antibiotics are disposed of? Tonight, we will be discussing the negative environmental impact that excretion of antibiotics through sewage or household waste may have. Let's go to our first expert to find out more. How do antibiotics end up in our drinking water? Antibiotics can appear in the aquatic environment due to inadequately treated wastewater, improper disposal of unused prescriptions, or agricultural runoff. The removal rate of antibiotics can vary from 20% to greater than 90% if advanced wastewater treatment is used. However, studies on conventional drinking water treatment processes have shown that these current technologies are largely ineffective at removing these compounds. What about Canada? How common are antibiotics found in our drinking water? The answer is still unclear. However, a group of Ontario researchers conducted a study to determine the occurrence of pharmaceuticals in drinking water. Of the 25 antibiotics analyzed, 12 were detected in finished drinking water. While the antibiotics in these water sources were found at extremely small concentration levels that are not harmful to human health, more research must be done to examine long-term exposure to low concentrations of drugs and the combined effects of multiple antibiotics. Why is this important? Antibiotics can sometimes cause resistance. Let's say we have a colony of bacteria. An antibiotic dose can easily wipe out most of its population. But in some cases, there can be bacteria that have special genes that allow them to protect themselves against these antibiotics. And these ones now have more room to grow. They can even spread their genes to other bacteria in order to give them the same abilities. This is bad because the antibiotics are no longer able to control their growth. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Kaur here, and I'm an ecologist out here in the field today with my research group, and we are taking samples of water and bacteria found at this swamp in order to study the effects of antibiotics in the environment. My team and I are following the efforts of another research team in Manitoba that did a similar experiment in 2013. This team sampled wetlands in Manitoba and detected the presence of a commonly prescribed antibiotic known as sulfamethoxazole that's often used to treat infections. The concentrations of this antibiotic that was detected was low enough in order to prevent toxicity to aquatic wildlife, but resistance genes to antibiotics other than sulfamethoxazole were still detected. This indicates that resistant bacterial populations were likely present within the wetlands and these bacteria are risky because they can be spread to our living areas by birds such as Canadian geese. So it's important that we study this area further. Today we're out here hoping to collect data on a waterway in Ontario because little is known about our status and risks as a province. Back to you Sarah. With that being said, we should not worry. The Government of Canada has implemented drug disposal programs that can save us from all the negative impacts antibiotics have on the environment and on us. All pharmacies across Canada participate in the Take Back program. You can take in your expired or unused antibiotics on any day of the year and the pharmacies will dispose of the medication safely. The pharmacies also take back all over-the-counter medications, all prescription medications, and natural health products. Some municipalities and local police forces also participate in the Take Back program but may have some restrictions, so contact your local services for more information. Lastly, if you must dispense of your medications in the garbage, the government has suggested placing the medication in a closed bag or sealed container to prevent it from leaking into the environment. 
And that brings us to the end of this segment on antibiotics. Thank you for watching MDCL Channel 7 News.